Good morning, I'm Sally Barker. Welcome to Local Business Focus. With me this morning is Gwenda Smith from Shape Changer, proud station sponsor. Now this morning, Gwenda, we're talking life and what you want it to be. Can you tell me a little bit more about that statement? Good morning, Sally. Yes, life is a very interesting um, concept, if you like, and many people have their own versions of what they would like life to be. Many people find life offers them challenges that they find very difficult to manage. So it's life as you would want it to be, but how you can make it be. So have you got some tips on, uh, I guess, one, how do you want, how do you know what you want your life to be? Oh, that's an excellent question. I would say that people start with what, understanding what their personal values are. When you really understand your personal values and you know how to live your personal values, you can then start to create and form the life that you really want. So to know your personal values, would you ask yourself a series of questions to get the answers to that? Yes, you would. You would start to sit quietly. You would contemplate what it is that makes you the person that you are. So personal values would be things like integrity, honesty, loyalty, kindness, um, treating others with empathy. You know, there's a, a long list of personal values, but they are personal. So you cannot say that everything fits every person. Now, once we've established what our values are, then what? From there, you would then look at how you introduce those values into everything you do every day. Do you actually live your values? And you would be surprised at the number of people who struggle with that. They think they do, but when they start to really take it apart, they're like, oh, maybe it's a little bit different. So you would then look at how you can implement your personal values into everything you do every day. And do you take it into your workplace or do you just go to work? So again, that would be asking yourself the question at the end of the day. Absolutely. How have I used and utilised my personal values today? How have I stepped into my personal values? How have I been able to bring those to benefit other people around me as well as myself? Now, what if we're struggling in this area? What should we do? If you're struggling in this area, then I would say you could look inward. You say life is look inward for everything. And by looking inward, you can find where perhaps you're not in congruency with yourself. So you would take time, and that means that you would just sit quietly. You would sit quietly in a place that is perhaps honourable to yourself, or maybe in nature. Nature's even better. Become grounded and quiet and ask yourself where you're at in yourself. Start to be really aware of how you're feeling and where are those feelings going. Are those feelings going outward because of someone else or something else? Or are those feelings inward and they really are true to yourself? So that's a good place to start. Is this something we should build into our daily routine? Absolutely. It's what will bring you the greatest inner peace, the greatest harmony and joy for yourself to have the life that you really want. It's also what will bring you to a place of being extremely well, not having pain, not having excess weight, not having struggle to sleep and feeling good for your day. Mm. So I, I guess some people um, listening might be thinking, oh my gosh, they're talking about meditating and spending an hour, you know, sitting and, and doing those kinds of things. But it can be just as simple as just sitting for five minutes. Is that right? Absolutely. It could be as simple as sitting for three. So rather than go into the meditation space, um, meditation has many different facets to it. And a lot of people understandably shy away from the word. My recommendation would be that you simply take the time to sit quietly with yourself. You don't have to go into any particular zone simply to yourself. So you can start by your breath. You can start by sensing how your feet are placed on the floor. You can start by feeling your shoulders. Are they tight? Are they tense? Even down to your fingers. Become aware of how your fingers are feeling. So go into a state of being aware of how you're feeling in yourself because that's where you'll start to find where there are um, states of you that is not living your life um, values or your personal values. And that's also where you'll come to find where there's tension in your body, which tells you something is not right. 
And it could be as simple as your fingers and your toes. You'd be surprised even if you uh, checked your toes just now in your shoes and find what are they doing. Everybody's thinking about their toes right now, I guess. <laughs> now, I guess we go through different stages in life and our wants change. So when we've established our values list, is it something we go back and revisit in five years, ten years' time? You could, but you would find that your personal values are consistent throughout your life. Wants are very different. You might want to excel in your work. You might want to be very fit. A want is something that we could assimilate to um, a goal. Um, so that's something you want to achieve. You want to have. But when it comes to the essence of you and who you really are, that doesn't ever really change. But then I guess to achieve those goals, you need to be true to who you are and be aligned with your values to succeed. Absolutely. It's what will bring you everything that you want your life to be. Okay, can you give me a couple of tips for someone who's going, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, I'm a bit lost. Absolutely. If they were to sit quietly and look for their personal values, so I would suggest that they sit down and list their personal values, then have a look at what their daily process is or their daily routine. So for example, if they're a stay-at-home mum, if you're a stay-at-home mum, have a look at how you're feeling about staying at home and how you're feeling about connecting with your child or children. Look at what you need to do through the day and how you are interweaving your personal values being a mum, which is a wonderful thing to do. It's a wonderful career. And then if you're working outside of the home, take the time to write down what does the job do for you? Not what do you do for the job, but what does it do for you? And then marry it back to your personal values. Now, as you do this process, be aware of how you're feeling. Check in with your body and see if you're frowning. See if you're feeling good in your heart or have you stopped breathing. Be aware of how you're feeling as you write these things. Then transfer it across again to say, what could I change that would make me feel more harmonious in myself? So where am I at in this work that I'm doing right now? And does it marry up with what I want to be who I want to be in my life. And I think that's the key. A lot of the time we look outside rather than inside. That's exactly the key. Yep. The shape changer life, look inside for everything because all the answers are there. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for joining us this morning on Local Business Focus. Gwenda Smith from Shape Changer, proud station sponsor. Pleasure.